Hello and welcome to free VBA tips. Today we are going to understand how we can create a pivot table on a click. If I click on this button, the pivot table is created. So let us understand how this has been built and how we can create for ourselves. New sheet. This is my data and let me just put it little down over here. And so as usual, I do go to developer and insert a but ActiveX button over here. And then you can right click and name it as pivot. Okay, create pivot table. Right click and give it a meaningful name as BTN pivot table just double click on this and write our code so first of all we'll write a sheet so we'll write sheets dot add dot name equal to pivot you can also change this to a name you want so first i just want to get the number of rows in the sheet so that we can create a dynamic pivot so let me define something where dim last row as long and dim last column as integer. We can take both as long as well. So to get the last number of row occupied in the sheet, in this particular sheet, to get the last row, we will write a code over here. So this is sheet one. So I will write something like this sheet one dot cells bracket open then intellisense is cell telling us row index so we will write sheet one dot rows dot count then which row we are taking so here i want to take a because this field always have have value so take that particular field field which ha always have value and then end excel up dot row now we have written this sheet twice so what we can do is we can just use a with clause over here and then again delete this sheet one and use end with similarly we have to get the column as well so now i want to give this sheet a name so let's say i'll give a name as data and hit alt f11 so i'll write sheets data and here also i will just this is to ensure that this always take row and column from the sheets data so let us assign this last row to this variable this variable variable will contain last row number of last row and this particular variable last column will contain the last column of that and if the last row is less than two then exit sub what i am telling is if the last row is less than two it means there is no data there is no point if you want you can also put a message box over here msgbox no data found comma vb critical the message should be critical and then and if we ha always have to end now we will define a pivot range so pivot range as string so let us build a pivot range over here pivot range is equal to the data sheet and then we will write is this mark then from where the pivot range is beginning r1 is row 1 column 1 but here if you look my row is sixth and column is first so we will write row number six and column number is one this is a particular syntax start and end with what end then i can put my last row r is last row and then we have to put c as last column so this pivot range is referring to sheet data sheet 
beginning from row 1 column 1 till r last row and c last row what it is saying it is it is giving me a range like this to create the pivot for this particular range so this is very dynamic whenever your columns will increase or rows will increase this pivot will automatically change so now we will create the pivot we have to write active workbook because th that was our active workbook dot pivot catches dot add so this is a syntax dot add now we have to write source type what is the source type of that so it is excel database then source data what is the source data of that the source data would be pivot range we can just close this bracket over here then create pivot table choose pivot table table destination so what would be the table destination this is the sheet name i am writing pivot beginning from r4 so let's begin the pivot from row number 4 and column number 1 here my pivot table should come now table name what should be the table name so you can just write pivot table 1 and then default version which we which we don't need okay so let's remove this so there was a bracket that i removed and it is working fine now because the less we write the better it is just run this code right now and see how everything is coming now this table has come over here and you see these values has also come user id till category so till category everything has come up great and then you can just drag it over here and create your pivot say you want a predefined pivot you want some values in the column so we'll write just something like this with active sheet dot pivot tables what is the pivot table name you have created pivot table 1 dot pivot fields so let's look for a field say user id user id and then we can add this value as dot or orientation excel row field and then dot position and then we can add this over here perfect so let's see okay so this is this dialog box is coming here because it is asking us that can i delete this pivot because this pivot is already created and we are creating a new sheet so we can click on delete in case you don't want this notification then we can just do something over here wherever it is asking for delete you can just write application dot display alerts equal to false and then you have to turn it back as well so let's see if this works and let's see this works perfect now you don't see that pop up because we have told this application to to turn off the alerts that you are showing us which is dangerous actually but we have turn it back on as well so in case you want to do some changes in it or you want to play with your pivot you want to add something more into the pivot then i will give you a one more tip over here now your pivot has come like this but you want to do more with this so just record a macro over here go here macros and record a macro and let's you want to let's see you want to put a head over here then you want to change the values to some or something like that then you can just record this macro and click on stop then you have to click on view macros and go to macro 1 and click on edit so you see over here something has come over here just copy this from here 
go to developer design mode on double, double click on this and then you paste this over here and I am pressing shift and tab to just come back here it has recorded everything which we left over here so now see carefully how the things has come up active sheet count of head everything has come over here so you can do modifications as per your choice this is ready to use code and I will also provide you code in the description this video could be long but I just wanted to ensure that you understand everything what we were playing over here so this is a very short and crisp code with all the conditions and error handling done if there is no data then we should not get a debug over here it will check for values that the row number is less than two so prompt as a message that something is missing so i hope this makes sense if you have any questions you can ask me in comments for similar kind of videos you can subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day ahead bye bye